So, today is my 22nd birthday and I didn't want to do anything. I mean, like, for like, the first time in my life, I didn't want to do a birthday. But on New Year's Eve, you may or may not have heard me talk about it in my New Year's glow up. I saw my friend Amy. She's like, Wait, what are you doing for your birthday? And I said, nothing girl. She's like, no, you're not a nothing girl. And I'm like, you know what? I am not a nothing girl, but I still want to be chill. So tonight I'm just going out for a really small casual dinner. And Adrian organized it for me, so I'm very thankful. But if you cannot can't tell, I'm gonna do a little pink theme today. Quickly, I know I ramble a lot, but before I get into it, I have never had a pink birthday since I was like 12, probably. I had like a limousine party, like my 10th or 12th birthday, and everything was pink. But I'm a pink person and I've never had a pink party or like a pink outfit. And for Christmas, Adrian bought me a beautiful Nancy Dojaka. I don't know how to say this really gorgeous, gorgeous dress. And it's very Y2K, very pink. So yeah, today I'm going for like a pink vibe and I'm so excited. I get excited getting ready. Anyways, I have been rambling. Okay, you guys, so I actually did the unthinkable and I... <laughs> I did something I never do. I bought myself some new makeup. I'm ready to go. I'm really excited to try out some new things. I'm also kind of nervous because like, what if it fucks up? Like, there's no going back. I got this Tatcha water cream. Look at this, like this is too much. I'm gonna ruin this in about three seconds, I bet you. But I think this is like a moisturizing primer in a way. I'm gonna use a little spoon just to feel special. I'm gonna rub this in. This feels really nice. And I remember like a heap of hype being about this water cream product a couple years ago, so we shall see. Yeah, if you guys can't tell, I have the most sickest pink nails. Obviously by the one and only Sass Nail Artistry. <laughs> thinking and considering of doing a very glam look. However, I just, I'm, I'm not feeling it. I want to be the most glowiest glow that you've ever seen. Like, I want to shine bright like a diamond. I want people to look at me and have to put their sunglasses on. I'm already starting to glow, so I'm liking this. All right, so let's get started on my brows. But yeah, I just can't believe that I am 22. Like, I feel like that's a weird age. I don't like the sound of that number. Maybe it's because... I don't know about you, but I feel 22. Oh my God, when I was younger and I would listen to that song, I'd be like, God, is she 22? Like, I'm like 10, like, she's so old. And now I'm 22 and I feel dread. <laughs> okay, now I'm just carving. I'm really trying to do everything with a very light hand. I want a really clean, fresh look. I've had so many messages from all of you guys and I literally go and scroll through them all. And I literally love you all so much. Like I would not ever be where I am without you guys watching me and supporting me. And I genuinely just have so much fun doing what I do. And I think that this year, one of my biggest goals is to just only produce content that I love and actually have fun making. And I feel kind of repetitive sometimes because I just do like makeup and like get ready with me and glow ups but that's what I enjoy the most and I feel like sometimes when I do other things I'm like mm, I like this but I don't like this as much as this but I don't want to be boring and just produce one kind of thing you get what I mean all in all I love you guys so much and I really appreciate the birthday wishes all right so I just put a little bit of concealer on my lid and now I'm just going to put this darker one above my brow <laughs> It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. I just literally brought like all of my pink palettes in here. I just want to do a simple blushed look with a little bit of shimmer. All right, so I've just opened them all there, but I'm going to start with Kylex Beaumont palette in the shade Attitude. It's like a bluey pink. I'm just using that as my base and it's really pretty. Now from the Scott Barnes blush palette, I'm taking the shade Rose, a bit more of a hot pink and just deepening up the pink a little bit. Oh, now I'm taking Not That Innocent again, just 
outer corners slowly slowly getting a little bit more dark for the lids if you guys are gonna be surprised i haven't done this in ages but i have these two inglot loose pigments that i used to use back in the day i'm going to mix them together they're in the shades 119 and 50. i'm not gonna wet my brush because that'll make it really pigmented i want more of that loose shimmery effect and i'm just gonna pop some of this on my lids I'm not mad about it. I think that just looks really cute and peachy and gorgeous. Okay, so I've decided I'm gonna do a brown wing and smoke it out just to make it a little bit more dark. I've really been loving smoky wings. For my brown smoky wings, I always go in with this first, then this, then this, like to blend upwards, if you get me. So with that darkest brown, just really blending out close to where the top of the liner is. Now I'm going in with my second darkest color, blending more and more upwards. And then with the third line, it's just mixing it all up. And now for the most satisfying part, I'm going to just clean up the wing. Okay, I love that, that's really pretty. And before I do mascara, I really love these little diamantes I got from Sports Girl that I used on New Year's Eve. So I'm gonna take the tiniest ones and I'm gonna, I think, just place one here on each eye, just to give a little bit of sparkle. And my nails have little diamantes too. So I want to like all tie in together. Right. That's so cute. So cute and such a tiny detail, but it just adds so much. All right, before I clean up what's going on behind me, I'm sorry, it's a bit messy. I bought this new Kevin Aquan mascara. I bought all my makeup from Mecca Online and this had really good ratings, so it's really tiny though. And this is the brush, so I'm a bit nervous, but I'm excited to try it out. Whoa, this is very lengthening. It's touching my eyebrow. Oh my goodness. Not very thickening though. I'm gonna add a little bit of Better Than Sex mascara just to make her thick. That looks ridiculous, how long? I really don't want my lashes to look spidery. I think they look cute, I can't tell. But this mascara, it's doing wonders. It's definitely worth the rave. I know telescopic mascara is good. I was using that for a while, but I don't know. This is very lengthening. There is eyeshadow all over the floor. Now it's time to move onto skin. That mascara is incredible. I bought the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Foundation. This looks a bit light for me. It's always hard when you buy foundations online. Okay, she's light. So we're most definitely mixing her with this very dark NARS. Ooh, this is very light. I've mixed them together because obviously it's way too light for my skin right now. Very coveraging, which is what I need for this pimpy action going on. But yeah, you guys, I have made two new friends and I actually manifested these friends. When I moved into my place, I was like, I will have two wild birds. Ever since I went to Hamilton Island, I have wanted to be a Disney princess again and have wild birds come to me every day. Now, when I was younger, I used to get pizza with my dad. This one magpie would come and I would feed it pizza every Friday with my dad, like hand fed. So I decided when I moved into this place that I will have another magpie. And guess what showed up three days ago? Two magpies. And slowly, slowly, I am trying to befriend them. There's two. I've named them P and Pod. Anyways, I bought the new Kozas concealer. I've heard good things. I saw a TikTok and apparently it like clogs pores. So I'm getting ready for the pimples once again. Oh, that's very light coverage. Oh, that is so very natural. All right. One thing about me is I need a bright under eye. So I'm going to put a little bit of this hourglass one on. Oh, I'm liking how glowy this is looking though. Okay. That's definitely a lot more pigmented. Now I'm going to put some of this Fenty Beauty dark cream to just Cream contour a little bit. I can't get over my glowy skin. I really don't want to set it. I'm like afraid it's gonna ruin it. I'm putting some of the Florence by Mills cream blush on just a little bit as a base. All right, so I am afraid for the powder process because my skin looks so good. Like I'm loving this routine, but I have to soldier on. I am using my Givenchy pink powder. I'm just gonna press that really lightly under my eyes to set. I'm just putting a little bit of extra powder in the places that will crease and look ugly. Okay, I'm just doing a little bit of bronzing with my Scott Barnes contour palette. And then I'm going to do a bit of blush with this hot pink and this mango color as a base. And that is just like the prettiest, prettiest pink ever. And I'm then going in with my Dior blush. I'm now going to do the most important thing, contouring my nasal cavity. All right, I'm now just taking this pink and putting that on my under eye lids my lower lash lids, under eyelids. And then I'll take this brown and darken up my lower lash lid. 
All right, you guys, I got my favorite setting spray, the Veil Soft Focus Setting Spray by Hourglass. I'm gonna set my face before I highlight. All right, this is just a gorgeous pearlescent highlighter that I always use. I'm just gonna put that on. It really gives me a wet kind of look. I'm gonna be real mad when I have to take off this makeup tonight. All right, I'm really gonna redden up my inner eye corners. Forget, I am changing the pathway of my life tonight and I am not doing an inner eye cat wing. I'm just gonna reverse contour like a literal tiny bit just on my nose, just so when I blend that out, it will be a little bit less harsh. Okay, so I actually bought myself some lip pencils. Thank God, one of the shades that I frequently use was not in stock. It's like Iconic Nude by Charlotte Tilbury. But I did get the Hello Talk and I got a new MAC strip down. But yeah, I'm just gonna overline my lippies to the maximum. All right, and I'm just gonna blend that in with Pillow Talk, which is like a pinkier color. And just for that final touch of pink, I'm going to add the Lip Oil by Dior. But yeah, you guys, I think this is the finished look. I'm super happy with how my makeup turned out. Like, it's so glowy. I feel really pretty in pink, like pink overload. This is insane, but I'm really vibing. But yeah, this is the finished makeup look. <laughs> I'm super obsessed. I really love you guys. Thank you for all of the amazing birthday wishes. It means so much to me. Thank you so much for watching. And I'm ready to go have fun.